Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the game process has crashed UE4 OPP and it's fatal error. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make our account the start uh, game on Steam and then go to properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can close this, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Go to properties once again. This time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Next step is to set ray tracing to false in config file. Now for this, you can open file explorer, go to this PC. Open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. If you don't see app data over here, at the top click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local folder, find OPP folder, open this folder, open saved folder, open the config folder, windows client, find game user settings, make a double click and over here find uh, enable RT option. So here you can see enable RT. If this is set to true, you can type in false over here and then go to file, click on save, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run Steam as an administrator. So first of all, close Steam. So go to Steam, exit and then you can type in Steam and then make a right click, run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install easy anti-cheat. For this, go to the game, make a right click on the game, manage browse local files, go to the game installation folder, open easy sorry yeah open easy anti-cheat folder over here yeah open easy anti-cheat here you can see easy anti-cheat setup make a right click show more option send to desktop create shortcut and now select this easy anti-cheat setup make a right click go to properties go to shortcut and then go to target option here you can see at the end of quotation at the end very end you can give one space and type in this. This is provided in the video description. You can type in after quotation, there is one space, then install space, and then it's P R O D space. Uh, install space after install, uh, it's P R O D, and there is no space, it's hyphen dash FN, and then hit apply, click on OK, make a right click on setup, and then run as administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is done, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename config folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can go to config file location. So here you can see config. Uh, this is the location. And then make a right click on config folder, rename it. And then you can relaunch the game. Still not working. Rename the save game files. Uh, create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress. All the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can rename the save game files. Now for this, uh, you can go to this location. Go to this location. And here you can see OPP folder, copy this folder and then create a backup. Maybe you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this OPP folder. The game will start from scratch. And now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files. Make a double click on start protected game. You can use this exe file to launch the game. If that does not work, you can make a double click over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working, make a right click, click on run as administrator on start protected game and then check. If that does not work, make a right click on the game exe file, run as administrator and then check. Still not working, open OPP folder, binaries, win64. Here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click. You can make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, make a right click. Go to properties. Go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK. Make a double click launch the game and then check. Still not working. Go to properties once again. This time you can select Windows E over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Disable full screen optimization. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can even try Windows 7 over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game and then check. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can re remove, uncheck these boxes, hit apply, 
click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to, if you're using any third party antivirus or if you're using Windows security, open Windows security, privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection, scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, add an allowed app, browser apps, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select start protected game exe file open again browser labs select the game exe file over here click on open again browser labs and this time open opp folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder and do the same thing select the, all the exe file and then click on add in my case i have already added allow another app once again browse select this select all the exe file start protected then i have to select this one also open add in my case i have already added browse again and open opp binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add again it is already added in my case once the game is added launch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow all the game exe file to the antivirus program next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver click on view and then you can click on download over here and once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file click on download run this exe file click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue over here and then select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure this is checked and then click on next once this is done restart your computer after the system restart you can check Similarly, if you have AMD card, you can go to AMD website and then select your AMD graphic card. This is just an example. I don't have AMD graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card, select your operating system, whichever is the latest graphic card driver, download it, install it, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added find the game in the list once you find the game uh, click on the game over here and then select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can check now if you have a desktop desktop users uh, make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app nvidia card users launch nvidia app and then over here you will see the game uh, if you see the game click on play over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work go to settings or you can go to graphics select the game over here now over here once you select the game if you see optimize option op option like this like this you can optimize the game and then check if the game is already optimized you can revert the optimization and then launch the game still not working go to settings turn off this nvidia overlay turn this off close the nvidia app and then relaunch the game Still not working, uh, try debug mode. Now for this, go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option, click on NVIDIA control panel, and then go to help option, click on debug mode. Once you have a check over here, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, go to NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, global settings, restore, click on yes to allow. And then at the bottom right, you will see apply option, hit apply over here and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable integrated graphic card. Now for this, make our active start menu. Go to device manager. Now expand display adapter over here. In my case, the Intel is the integrated one so, and this is the discrete one. So if you have integrated graphic card, make a right click and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check. Once you're done playing the game or if you face any trouble, you can just come back, enable the device once again and then check. 
Next up is to roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, you can go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card. And once you select your graphic card on this page, uh, you can scroll down and then click on previous view more versions. And maybe you can install the older graphic card driver. When you go for installation, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer. AMD card users, again, select your graphic card, click on previous versions, and then we can uh, maybe try to install the older graphic card driver, download it, install it, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. So click on x86, and then you can run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once bo both are installed, restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Go to power options. And over here, in my case, I have only balanced. But if you see power saver like this, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game. You can even try balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and then check. Still not working. Type in graphics settings in Windows search box. Click on graphics settings. Click on advanced graphics settings over here. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. If this is already on, turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total, total RAM in megabyte. For initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte, then 3 times multiplied 3. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that you hit set and then click on OK and then OK. Okay, now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings. Go to settings over here, click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set. Set is important. Click on okay, click on okay over here, hit apply, click on okay, okay. You will see restart option, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, you can go to Windows Update and then check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working, you can update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and go to driver's page and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have OTAS, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game. Select properties, turn off the option which is enable the steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then relaunch the game. Close all kinds of overlay application like Discord running. Go to Discord settings, turn off overlay first and then close Discord. NVIDIA app, turn off NVIDIA overlay and then close 
nvidia uh, app do not overclock set it to default close all kinds of overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it run the game on single monitor if you, if your computer has a like if you have multiple monitor set up disconnect it try to launch the game on single uh, single monitor or primary monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game and then if the game was installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game was already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel